mountains. We're out here in Killarney Provincial Park, Northern Ontario. We got four of us with us on this trip. We're over six days, five nights, early May 2014. It's a beautiful day, a little bit overcast, a little chilly, but no rain, no bugs. These hills are really, really big. Uh, it's all made of quartzite on that side and across. It's more of the granite Canadian shield that I'm used to. It's, uh, I've never seen anything like that and that's specific for Killarney. We're just taking a lunch break here. We uh, were paddling, portaging it. The rain really came down quite a bit. And uh, we were able to hike up to this, this lookout point called the Crack. Huge, huge rocks up there. They didn't take the camera along because it was raining, but Ken's got some footage of it. So the game plan for today is just paddle on again, portage, find a campsite, fish, and uh, hopefully catch some fish. Thanks for filling my water. You're welcome. We're here at campsite one. We've been going since about 8.30 this morning. It's now 5.02. So, long day. A uh, few portages, one 900 meter, one 1500 meter. And uh, it's a really nice site right now. We're just getting our prepped up for uh, supper. We're gonna fish tonight, hopefully we'll get something. So I'll take you around and show you the camp. We got our fire pit and hangout, general hangout area there. A little clothesline, things hanging up. There's Ken's tent. Uh, I'm bunking in there with him. And Doug's got his tent over there. And way back in here, you can see Kyle in his tent. It's Ken's third bass, but we're throwing them back because they're not in season right now. But they're all really nice size, and they're all pretty looking fish, too. Nice. Smallmouth. Look at this. You can see the stripes on them, too. Yeah. Pretty fish. I got that all on video. <laughs> yeah, I asked recording. Oh. We woke up to this beautiful morning. Uh, sun is shining, blue skies. So today we don't have any portaging to do. We just have lots of canoeing and uh, fishing and. What not. We ended up catching a nice pike last night, ate them up at, around the campfire. It was pretty cool. Well, we're just packing up now. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and uh, Everything's all squared away. We're going to go fish and uh, go on to the next lake.
Now we're in this little narrow lake here. It looks pretty cool, nice and clear water. Pretty shallow too. It's a change of scenery. Oh my goodness, what is that? <laughs> so there's more of that quartzite, the Lacoste range, coming back up to it. If you didn't know any better, you could almost <laughs> you could almost think it was snow on there. Well, we've arrived at our second camp for the trip. The guys are down there. The the big campsite's down there where we're gonna have our, our communal fire, and uh, they've got their tents and whatnot over there. Um, last night I slept in Ken's tent, but I also brought a Silent Island tarp. I figured today I'm going to set it up and sleep, sleep over here. Uh, I'm on this uh, quartzite oak crop facing the lake. It's a really, really nice spot, so I'm going to probably do a, a plow point uh, tarp configuration and uh, hang out over here today. We're just hanging out here on the rock, drying all our gear. We got our boots uh, and socks and whatnot. My, my feet have been wet since yesterday. Uh, I put the wet socks back on because my boots are wet and this morning it was it was pretty chilly on the feeties So it feels good to have them off. I bought my I brought my camping crocs and uh, They're helping out right now while my boots dry You see how much room I have in here like this uh, I'm gonna lay sideways here. I just didn't have enough room for my head. So I, that's why I tied out the tie the, the that point there uh, Give myself a little space between the tarp and my and my face So I don't get all con full condensation when I'm sleeping uh, I would ideally have the open uh, part facing the lake there, but I don't want to be susceptible to rain and wind, so that's why the plow point this way. It's only one in the afternoon, and while we're hanging out here, me and Kyle were just uh, having some lunch, and chipmunks were literally coming. We could we could have smacked them away if we wanted to, so it's it's a concern to leave your food just even on the ground during the day, even when you're right there. So I just rigged this up for now. It's uh, it's not sufficient for bears for at night at all but for now this is going to do for the chipmunks to keep them off of food this is that tie out i was talking about so i had to get the tarp up away from my face and there's a tie out here and i can't really go into the ground because it's all rock here even with my stakes i had to kind of put them on in a, in a real steep angle so here we i put a stick going on an angle wrapped the paracord around the stick brought it down and tied it off to a rock and it's fine it's going to stay like that to get some firewood. We decided to take a hike up from our campsite and ended up on these quartzite hills. It's pretty cool up here. It's no trails or nothing. We just kind of hiked up the hill. We're up real high up here. And there's signs of people everywhere. There's uh, little rock formations built by lots of people. It's pretty nice up here. No wind too, for some reason. This is a yellow birch tree. When they get real big, they get uh, they lose all the ribbony bark, and they get these big plates on them, and those still burn real well as well. You can see it the size of it compared to Kyle here. It's, it's pr pretty big. It's in about an hour before supper now, so I'm gonna start rehydrating my uh, my dehydrated meal. It's just that ground beef and rice and uh, green beans. I'm gonna let it sit with some water in it and it'll rehydrate until I want to cook it and when I go to cook it I'm gonna use this three rock twig stove just set it up here like this have my twig fire underneath it boil it up that way this dead striped maple it's real dry and I'll be able to cook my food with just twigs which is pretty cool no extra work no splitting down wood none of that stuff I'm gonna light the fire with this yellow birch bark you can see how ribbony it is it takes no preparation at all 
use my fire steel with it. I'm just going to let that burn down a bit and I'm going to throw my pot on there. She's done now. It took, uh, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes. Not the most convenient, not the most efficient, but it worked and I didn't have to carry a twig stove or an alcohol stove. I didn't bring any stoves this trip those guys have, so I just didn't feel like mooching off them tonight. Uh, I normally would use the fire, but we're waiting until later on to build the fire so we don't, so you can conserve wood. Uh, I brought some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Put a bunch up in there. And the, the food's a little bit bland, but that, that Frank's uh, really spices it up. Or I'll, um, I'll bring some seasoning salt, and that really helps too. So I'm just going to hang out here by myself, eat my food. Then I'll go down and join those guys for the campfire and some rum later on. Well, not much fish action for Ken and I tonight. Ken caught one bass and released them. Uh, Doug caught a few bass, and Kyle had a pike on. Uh, the rain started to rain and it's getting dark, so we just headed in. Now we're gonna just chill up by the fire and have a few drinks, smoke a cigar, call it good. Now here we are, morning of day three. It's been raining since about four in the morning. Let's see, water pool in there, and it's not too bad right now. It's kind of calmed down, but I had a little uh, poolage under my run underneath under my uh, pad and go over there I and mean, some of my stuff got wet my pad got wet but my sleeping bag stayed dry and that's the main thing so it, the barometric pressure staying the same right now I don't believe it's gonna stop raining anytime soon so we'll see how much video I get today but uh, we got about another 12 or 13 kilometers to go uh, today in portaging and canoeing just hanging out in the tent for a little while it's been raining since 4 this morning and it's 6 now. We paddled for like 12 kilometers, got drenched, everything we own is soaked. Um, <clears throat> it's raining again, so it's eating my supper in here. Uh, we got a group shelter up out there, right, waiting to get the fire going, so once that starts, I'm going to head out there. Here we are, morning day 4. It's a little bit of a gear bomb going on here. Getting up, had coffees, breakfast, getting ready to go. And the sky... Looks a little bit better than yesterday, but we don't know what to think. It rained for 14 hours yesterday, and uh, it's pretty dark up there, so let's see how it goes. We're off again for today. Got about five clicks going in the canoe, and then we're hiking up a mountain. Look at this, we're just surrounded by this LaCloche mountain chain. Those guys up there. We're gonna be hiking up to that one. So we got to our campsite. This is our fourth campsite of the trip, and it looks to be a good one. There's a couple flat spots. We're gonna set up back in here, and uh, Kyle's got sweet bow staff skills, and uh, eat some lunch and go for that hike. It's not raining yet, so that's an awesome thing. Looks to be like there might be some good fishing over in there too. came across this crazy waterfall. It's really, really tall. Just out of nowhere coming off the rock. It's a really awesome sight. The sun's shining now. Uh, we're nice and warm. My feet are still soaking wet, but they're actually warm for once. So It's a, quite a hike to get up here. These guys can't handle it. Oh, please. Yeah, it's going to be windy, but Bay way back in the background. This is the highest peak in uh, 
Killarney. We're all tired of it. was like a two and a half hour hike up here. But the lookout is amazing. We didn't bring enough food. Oh, good. Here we are, morning day five. We have a big, big day ahead of us. We got a three kilometer portage, and then a little bit of a paddle, and then a 900 meter portage, and a 900 meter portage after that. And uh, so I ate two oatmeal packs this morning, <laughs> trying to gain my strength with a few raisins. Uh, should be a good day. Uh, it was supposed to be nice out. It's chilly. Got down to probably plus three Celsius last night. And, uh, 38 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> what are you doing, Doug? <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. We just completed our three kilometer portage. Uh, it's definitely the longest ever portage. It was kicked all our butts. Uh, but we're done it now, and we got uh, a little paddle to go, and a couple more portages. We're just eating lunch here. That's it. Put the red button on top, please. A pinch. Okay, fun. A pinch. Okay. A, a pinch. Waste of batteries. A pinch. Waste of batteries. Now we're on Little Mountain Lake and this is really pretty in here. The water's got this really bluish color to it, it's super clear. It's just beautiful. Yucky. We're in the middle of a portage, of our last portage of the day. These are all our bags. We got uh, left to right Kyle's dry bag, Doug's dry bag, Ken's backpack, my backpack, and then uh, some paddles, fishing poles, camera gear, life jacket, all that fun stuff. So we tuned it in pretty good gear wise this trip. We don't have lots of extra stuff, and uh, it's working out all right for us. We're in this nice little river here. We just hit a set of rapids. This awesome change of scenery, uh, the small river as opposed to the big lakes. And we're going with the current, which is even cooler. Tons of tamarack. This is a really pretty spot. Get out your get out your wildlife hatchet and chop it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Use your muscles, Kyle. Okay, that was super dangerous. Today was a very difficult day. It was really rewarding as well. We started off at 8.30 in the morning, got here at the campsite about 6. 
by the time we got wood ready, set up our, our tents and everything, it's 7 o'clock. We didn't eat until about 7.30. It's a, a long day, but we got to see a ton of really, really cool stuff. And uh, it was a really good end to a good trip. The weather cooperated really well, uh, except for on the third day. It was rained for 14 hours. I almost got hypothermic. These guys really helped me out. Um, I just wasn't wearing the right gear underneath my rain gear. So lots of stuff learned this trip. Lots of memorable things. We, uh, we're gonna probably just stay up for a little bit, drink the rest of the booze, have a tiny fire, and crash, because we're all really tired. Panic, loons, and fire. Good combination. This is what I get to wake up to. Just gorgeous. The sun's coming up over there. It's going to be a beautiful day. On our way out now to the first portage, the mountain in the background. Real nice morning here. Here's our last lake and our last look at the White Mountains. It's been a really good trip. We had a blast, really good weather except for the one day. It's been challenging and both rewarding. So we've got about two kilometers to go. I'm gonna reach the car and uh, got about a 10 hour drive home, so it'll be a long day. Thanks for watching guys and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Come along for the next one.